Vlog number two, easy to get equals low value. Hard to get equals high value. Now a lot of people watching this might be thinking, yeah, that's obvious, I already know that. But here's the deal. If you choose easy things on a daily basis, your life will be hard. As opposed to that, if you choose what's hard on a daily basis over a period of time, your life will get easier. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, yeah, that's really confusing, but let me break this down and this could really change your life on a health perspective, on a financial perspective, on a relationship perspective, whatever it is that you're going for. So the most successful people out there in the world today, they chose to do hard things for a consistent period of time, which then now gives them a life full of abundance, a life full of fulfillment, but they chose to do the hard things on a daily basis as opposed to opting out and doing what was comfortable and doing what was easy. So an example to this is hypothetically you, you decide to yourself, hey, you know what? I want to change my life. I want to get more money. I want to get better health. So I'm going to start a side add-on business. Now, what happens is you've got a full-time job. It's demanding your time. It's a stressful situation. You're working there, you know, eight in the morning while sometimes seven at night. You get home. It's easy to think, you know what, my mentor told me I've got to make these calls to grow my business, which will then give me enough income to have more time in the future, but you know what, it's too hard today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bottle of wine and I'm going to sit and watch EastEnders. That's easy. The hard thing to do is to actually sit there and think, you know what, actually I need to make the short-term sacrifice and make these calls for the long-term gain. Another example could be a kid who's at university. His mates are pressuring him. It's student night, let's go out. It's Tuesday night, let's just go out. You've got an exam tomorrow, you'll be fine. The easiest thing to do is to cave into the peer pressure and go out with your friends and spend the money that you can't really afford to spend to go out and get drunk and turn up tomorrow morning for the, one of the most important exams of your life and not be mentally prepared. That's the easiest thing to do. The hard thing to do is actually say, you know what, lads, I can't do this. I've got an important exam tomorrow. I'm going to stay in and I'm going to study and I'm going to make sure that I pass that exam. Another example is when you get to 16, 17, 18 years old and you're in a particular sport, an easy thing to do is to sap training off and go out with your mates. The hard thing to do is say, look lads, again, I really want to make it in this sport. I'm going to stay behind. I'm going to you know, kick the sticks after it rugby. I'm going to practice my free kicks at football. I'm going to throw some extra shots at basketball or whatever it is. I'm going to do the extra. Even though it's hard today, I know that it's going to give me more value in the future. So if you think of them three examples so far I've given you, the easy thing to do will actually equal the lowest value. The hardest thing to do at the time will equal the highest value. If you're a sportsman, it's really, really hard to stay contained and not go out with your mates and do all the stupid stuff to make it. But that gives you the highest value. Doing the hard thing at a certain time will give you the highest amount of value in the future. If you do the easiest thing at that period of time, it will give you the lowest amount of value in the future. And then once you've done the things that you're doing and it becomes easy, you've then got to switch it up and do something hard again in order to grow even further. So an example of that is imagine when you're going to the gym, right? You're lifting 50 kilogram on bench press, you're lifting 60 kilogram, you're growing, you're lifting 70 kilogram, you're doing it for uh, six reps, you're doing it for eight reps, you're doing it for 10 reps, you're growing, your chest is growing, you're getting stronger. Now, if you continue then to lift 70 kilogram for 10 reps for you know more than three, four, five months, your body is then going to get used to it because look, your body and your mind wants to keep you safe. It wants to keep you comfortable. It wants to keep you, you know, on this side of the playground. But, you know, the best things in life come from the other side of that fear, come from the other side of that comfort zone by getting out your comfort zone and growing as a person. So when you go into the gym, if you're lifting 70 kilogram for 10 reps, that's great, but over a certain amount of time, your body's going to get used to that and your body's not going to grow anymore. What you then have to do is you have to switch it up. You'll see these bodybuilders, they're doing supersets, they're doing one rep max, they're doing different volume training, intensity, all this type of stuff to continuously shock the body and do something that's hard, that's challenging, because then over time, the chest is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because they're doing different things. They're adapting, they're doing at the time what is hard to get the best value in the future. And that is the same principle for everything in business, in your life, in your relationships, in everything that you're doing. You've got to do now 
what is hard to do, what 97% of the population out there won't do, you've got to do in order to the rest of your life, like the vast majority of people could never put themselves in the position to do so. Because the vast majority of people choose what's easy every single day. They just get by. They think, ah, oh, this is cushy, this is comfortable, but deep down, that lifestyle is really, really hard. It's financial stress, it's emotional stress, it's relationship stress, it's physical stress, because they're just getting by. In order to live a life of abundance and a life full of fulfillment, you've got to do what other people won't do to get what other people won't get. So that's vlog number two, guys. What's easy to get is low value. What's hard to get as high value. Tune in to next week's vlog. And Merry Christmas to everyone.